Credit cards are the devil. You are never going to get a free flight just by using a credit card. Our studies have shown that 99.837% of millionaires don't even redeem their frequent flyer miles, so stop trying to get ahead that way. How's that for a Dave Ramsey impersonation? You're probably thinking in style, not so great. In content, it's pretty spot on though. He thinks credit cards are always bad and there are people who should absolutely not get credit cards because you can fall into debt using them. And he's right that a lot of people who use them for the rewards probably don't use the points. However, I see value in them, but that doesn't mean that there aren't options for you if you want to get a free flight without using a credit card. Perhaps you've fallen into credit card debt before. Perhaps you just have a philosophical you know, view that they're bad and you don't want to use them. There are still options for you, and that's what this video is about. So if that is something that interests you, be sure to stay tuned. There are two steps you need to take before you actually go about earning points. And number one, that will be figuring out what airlines fly out of your local airport. If you're in a smaller town, you may have access to Delta and American. United might not fly out of there. Southwest, same thing. So number one, figure out what flies out of your airport that you plan to use and then try to focus on that loyalty program. Number two, once you've figured out what loyalty program you're going to emphasize, you'll need to go ahead and sign up for their frequent flyer program. And you can do that for free. There's no cost. You don't even need a debit card to do so. Just sign up and then go from there. The first option I'm going to show you for earning frequent flyer miles without a credit card is actually through the use of a debit card. Dave Ramsey's fine with debit cards. You won't go into debt. You don't have to pay any interest. This card is offered through Truist Bank. You'll see I'm here on the Truist website and looking at the debit cards they have available. And I found that they offer a Delta Sky Miles debit card. So if Delta operates in an airport near you, this might work out. So the main feature of this is the ability to earn miles while you spend on a debit card. And you'll earn one mile one sky mile from Delta Airlines for every $2 you spend. If you spend $2,000 on the debit card over the course of a month on Walmart purchases, home improvement store purchases, groceries, gas, utilities, normal everyday purchases that you would be spending otherwise, you'll get, you know, $1, I'm sorry, one point for every $2 you spend. There is a $95 annual fee for holding this card. It can be reduced or waived in some instances. There is information on the site that'll tell you um, it, it's related to holding accounts and investments with Truist Bank. But anyway, if we scroll down, we'll find out right here that it offers a 5000 point bonus if you make a, you know just a single purchase. So that will jump start your ability to earn the frequent flyer miles. So if you spend the $2,000 a month on everyday purchases, you'll get a thousand points per month. So 12,000 sky miles per year. And if you add that to the 5,000 point bonus, you're well on your way to a free flight. Hopefully you're finding this information useful, and if so, now will be a great time to just go in there and very lightly tap that like button. And also, if you want to get more information on things like frequent flyer miles, on credit card rewards, personal finance, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be informed when the next video comes online. It'll help the channel out greatly, and I would greatly appreciate it. And it's free. So doesn't that beach scene just make you want to go somewhere tropical? Getting frequent flyer miles can't allow you to do that and you don't need a credit card to do it. So here's the second option that you have for earning sky miles or some other frequent flyer currency that will allow you to get a free flight. And every major American carrier, we're talking United, Southwest, American and Delta, all have an online shopping portal that allows you to earn frequent flyer miles just by going and making online purchases through the shopping portal. Basically what happens, the airline refers you to the retailer. The retailer gives the airline a kickback, which they then use to give you some miles. So I've used Delta here 
because that is who the debit card I've already referred to was issued by. So I haven't flown Delta for a very long time. It's a fine airline, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I think it works so that you can see how you can join various strategies together to earn more miles and get to a free flight quicker. So this particular shopping portal has a bunch of stores that they allow you to shop through to get miles. Some of the popular stores are Apple and Home Depot, Lowe's, Kohl's, Walmart. Uh, you'll see here also, if we scroll down a bit, that there are certain stores that give a limited time increased mileage offer. So Dell Computers, the Dell Outlet is offering four miles. It was 1.5. That's the normal. So if you get a thousand dollar computer, 4,000 miles, you're going to be paying a thousand dollars for the computer anyway. So why not get the 4,000 miles in addition to what you had already planned to spend. So this is a good way to sort of supercharge your miles and the number that you're able to earn, and it'll get you to a free flight even more quickly. If you're planning to use any of these shopping portals, you have to sign up for the Frequent Flyer program first, and then you have to link your Frequent Flyer number and your account information with the shopping portal. Then the referral will go and deposit the miles into your account. Now, a third way that you can actually earn Frequent Flyer miles without using a credit card is through actual flights. So you may work for a company that sends you out of town once or twice a year or once or twice a month. If they do, you might as well sign up for the Frequent Flyer program and then let those flights uh, you know, accrue to your account. And that's a way that you can earn miles without actually having to sign up for a credit card. Another option for earning Frequent Flyer miles without using a credit card is through hotel stays. Now, this is frequently not going to necessarily be the best use of your hotel stays from a points perspective. You may want to use the loyalty points to actually um, stay at hotels for free. But if you're on the road for a few nights a year or many nights a year because of your job or because of a vacation, you might as well get some benefit out of that. So if we look at IHG, which is the parent company of Holiday Inn, they allow you to transfer your miles to various frequent flyer programs, or you can just actually link your frequent flyer number with your IHG account, and they will automatically give you a certain dollar amount or a certain number of points per stay or per dollar that you spend. And we can scroll down here and look at the various airlines that IHG allows you to earn miles with. And basically all of the United States carriers are listed here. So we're talking American, we're talking Delta, United down here. We're also talking JetBlue, Alaska is on there. You also have many foreign airlines, although it's going to take you more miles to fly with one of these foreign airlines. And it'll take you a long time to accrue enough points to actually travel to Europe or Asia or South America or something like that. So I would recommend using an American carrier. As long as your company's policy doesn't say that you can't get, you know, any frequent flyer miles through flights or hotels, I would sign up and try to, you know, benefit from those stays. The next two options I'm going to show you for getting free flights don't really deal with frequent flyer miles. Rather, they deal with using various online rewards programs to get points that then you can redeem for um, airline gift cards that you can input when you go to pay for flights with cash, right? Or actually a debit card. But this is Swagbucks and I've used this program for like 10 years and I've redeemed more than $3,000 worth of rewards over that period of time. It's not a huge amount of money, but it goes and it's usually PayPal cash that I use with the program. But you can see here, you can get between a $25 and a $250 gift card to Southwest Airlines. It's over on the right here. There is an up to 12% off sale 
that's on the smaller gift cards. So if you want to get the $250 off, you need to get 25,000 points. Um, if we scroll down, we'll also see that you have an option to cash in your points for Delta Airlines. That will be between 10,000 and 50,000 points or SB as the Swagbucks points are called. That will give you $100 to $500 off on your flight with Delta. And if we continue to scroll down, at least a few days ago, I was able to find, yep, there it is, American Airlines, $500 gift card for 50,000 SB. And you can get SB for answering a daily poll, for playing games. Uh, you can get up to six per day for that. If you search through their search bar, you'll get points for that. And you can get points for answering surveys and various and sundry other things. Uh, it'll take you a while to get up to the number of points you need. But if you're looking to fly Delta, you could use your frequent flyer miles that you've earned through the other options that I've showed you before. And you could combine that with another airline for the return flight. So you get a one-way flight with Delta, a one-way flight with American or Southwest and allow you to use this option here. I'm going to leave a link to Swagbucks in the description below. And if you want to help me out, you can sign up using that link and it'll help me out a little bit by giving me a referral bonus. You'll get the same points that you'll get otherwise. If you don't want to give me the referral bonus and you still want to earn points, go ahead and sign up. Just go to swagbucks.com and that'll work for you. We've now come to the final option for actually getting a free flight without a credit card, and that is through Microsoft Rewards. I've been a member of this program for several years, just like Swagbucks, and you can earn points for doing very simple tasks like searching, for answering a few little questions, taking quizzes that are about entertainment and geography and all sorts of other things, and you can make about 30 to 35 cents a day on this or 350 points, I guess. And anyway, I was looking a couple days ago and I found out that you have the option to redeem your points for gift cards. And Delta and Southwest are the only two airline carriers that allow you to link your Bing points or your Microsoft Rewards points and redeem them for these gift cards. So Delta, they start at 65,000 point redemption. That'll give you 50 bucks. You can get a custom number anywhere from 50 to 100, and that'll go up to 130,000 points. That's something that I could earn in about a year. And you're not going to spend more than five or 10 minutes doing this. So if you're like getting ready to fall asleep, you know, you can just fool around on your laptop or your cell phone and do some searches and get some points. It's going to take a while, but it is an option if you're looking to to get a free flight without using a credit card. So anyway, you can sign up at Microsoft Rewards and start earning. I don't have a referral link for that. Um, so I don't get any bonus. You don't get any bonus for signing up other than just getting the points and then using those to redeem gift cards to airlines. So there you have it. You don't need to get a credit card sign up bonus to actually get a free flight or a highly reduced flight. And by using one or more of these strategies, you can be well on your way to getting a free flight for yourself, perhaps yourself and your significant other. If you have a special honeymoon or anniversary coming up, uh, it'll take a while, a very long while to pay for frequent flyer mile flights in this way for, you know, a family, but still your options are there and I'm all about saving money and getting highly discounted or free flights. And this gives you some ideas. So hopefully you found this video entertaining and educational. And if so, again, I would just encourage you to hit that like button and then also subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.